All right, I'm online. I'm texting. I've sent my students a text message that says I'm online now. It's like 10.02 now. My microphone. My microphone. And I'm still the only participant. Check. Ain't no sunshine. Ah, my good friend, Bremmy. Hi, Bremmy. Hey. Are you, are you still like at work? Are you at work? I thought that I wouldn't balance. They were understanding, so I don't have, you don't have to worry about that anymore, me being honest, but it only interfere with my theory class, but I can still talk while I'm there, though. Okay, uh, but are you at work right now? No, I'm at home. Oh, you're at home. Yes, yeah, I was. Okay. You 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 have. Yeah, I talked talk to them. You have different hours for work. Yeah, the um the I work in my uh, the, my other job was at my friend's candy store from twelve to eight, so it only interfered with choir some and then your your class. But they said I can still like talk on the phone. Okay. Um, theory, I can still have my phone out. Like I can really have my phone out at that job. What kind of a candy store is it? Oh, it's ice cream and candy. So it sells. It sells um, from chocolate to like regular wrap free wrap candy. Is it yeah, like they sell ice cream, store? nachos, Italian juice? Oh, it sells. Is it a, a big store? Thing. It sells a lot of things. It's a small. Yeah, it sells a lot of things, but it specializes in candy and ice cream. Okay, that's cool. I was just wondering. Um, yeah, if you're a sweets person, you'll like it. I'm a sweets person, but I can't eat them. <laughs> oh. Uh, I have diabetes, just so you know. Oh, really? Yeah, I've had it since my mid-20s, but I never discovered it until I was in my 50s. And the only oh, reason wow. I know is because after I, then I had, because of our health system, I had to go to all these classes. And, and so yeah. everything ever saying signs of it is everything that I've had since my mid twenties. And I just can't, oh, wow. I never figured it out. Anyways. How do people go? Oh, oh. No. Pardon me? How do people what? Hello? Hello, I'm here. Hello. Are, we, are you are okay. we breaking I'm up here. or is my microphone breaking up? Yeah, it's breaking up a little bit. Am I breaking up? Yeah, I think you are. It's kind of hard to tell. Are you talking on a phone? Okay, what about now? What about now? It sounds a little bit better. Okay, I think it was me. Um Are you on your phone? Yes, I um I wasn't sure I can pull it up on my computer. I just didn't, I never really, like, I didn't know how to set that up. Um, well, let's do this. Well, let's do it, okay? 
So you don't have to, you don't have to stop your te your telephone. Okay, you can have that on and you can have your computer on. Okay. Okay. All right. So what you really need to do is you need to go and and uh, you need to go to Zoom and download. Actually, if you just go to Canvas and or or oh. or and and get that information. Um, for our meeting, let's see. Uh, I'm going to share a screen so you know where you're going. Um, okay. Okay, so I I shared Canvas, and uh, if I go to the home page here, it should have all the information. So this would be the easiest way to do this. Okay. Um, mm, Maybe it's not. I had to figure out where did, I put it. where did I put this. Um, under syllabus. Uh, I might have did it with an announcement, or maybe under syllabus. Let's just check that for a second. Yeah, it's under syllabus here. All right. So if you go to here and then you just copy this, punch yeah. it into a browser. All right. Um. It's going to automatic and, and you know, put the, uh, it, it might like right away, it's going to probably want to download an app. Okay. And you should let it because that's the only way that I can run classes is through that app. Okay. So, so then you just download the app and then you can bring that up. And then we got two things going here because I'd like to see your computer and how it, and, and, uh, and uh, start start kind of working with what's going on. So that was this my is, question: Is are you home, or do we need to schedule for another time? I'm at home. Yeah. Wait, do you see I, my I'm computer? computer? I'm talking about once you bring it up in Zoom, I can look at your computer. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, How I share my screen. Uh, I, how I am sharing my yes. screen, you can share your screen as well as your audio feed and everything. Oh, I wonder if this is the, the one the app that it told me it said it wasn't found. Can you see my screen? I can't even see myself anymore. Uh, no, it's like pointed somewhere like the ceiling or something. Oh, can you see my Oh, I see it. I see it a little bit better now. Um, now? Yeah, but let me. Uh, no. No, I, I. It's just in a very small view. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop sharing, and I should get a bigger view. Now I get a bigger view. Yeah, I see your. Oh, screen. oh so like this popped up. Uh, I, can you read that to me? Because I can't quite read it. It's Zoom Rooms. This is the Zoom Rooms controller app for your Windows tablet. It must be paired with the Mac or PC running Zoom Rooms application for the Zoom meeting client. Please visit zoom.us slash download. Yeah, how did you get to that? I just, I searched Zoom because when I, when I clicked the link, um, no, when I copied and pasted the link that you told me to go to. Yep. This happened. It okay. Said, yeah, that this is what I'm talking about. You want to download that then? So, so it makes me. It says look for it in the Microsoft Store. Okay. Um, and then it's results for Zoom MTG, and it says no results for this filtering. Um. Well, hang on. I'm going. I'm going to the Microsoft Store in my other computer over here. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, let me turn my video on. Most computers must have a Microsoft store now. Um, yeah. Uh, most of my... Uh, all right. I was just waiting for a little while for it to come up. Now I want to search. And... Uh, type in zoom and then it says zoom room 
It's type Zoom, Z O O M. It says Zoom Rooms. Well, yeah, then go to Zoom Rooms. Okay, bet. That, that's the one then. All right, and this is the same thing you had up before, I think. And, and so I, I would just uh, hang on a second. I'm going to do this right now because uh, I don't have it on, on this other computer, partly because this other computer doesn't have the only computer I have with a with a camera is that one. So, OK. Oh, so yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and download Zoom Rooms because it'll probably take a little bit of time here. So just click on Get. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, okay, it's downloading. Yeah, let it download, but hold off on the install for a minute, okay? So I'm going to... Uh, Oh, I'm gonna go to. Oh, London itself. London itself. No, I I clicked it already, so I, I didn't I couldn't stop it. Yeah, that's all right. But, but there there will come a point where it asks you to install it. So just hang off, hang on for a minute on that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna make sure here. Uh, since I don't, since I, I'm, I'm almost sure that's what you got to download, but since I don't, uh, okay. It's going to say it's got installed. Um, so just hang on. And then you should be able to go back to that syllabus page. Do this, control C, control N, control V. Yeah, yep. So now you should be able to, once it's done, it'll say ready to go. Um, but I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't launch it. I would go back and insert your, your, that URL again into the browser, and then it'll come up that says open Zoom meetings. Really? Yeah, I mean, otherwise you, um, Well, I'm not um, completely sure because I'm not on a Windows machine doing that. So I'm doing it right now. Uh, open system prompts. Okay. Now it's going to tell me an update is required. So I'm doing the update. Probably going to do the same thing to you too. Okay. We had to make these Zooms with our Valley emails, right? No, you don't have to make the Zooms with your Valley email, uh, necessarily. Um, I have several Zoom accounts. I have two, at least, okay? One is with my, my main, you know, with, with my old email, and all of, the, all of the stuff I do through Valley is through a Valley account. Although last semester it wasn't, because I hadn't figured all that out yet. So now mine is just updating. My computer's pretty slow. Yours probably goes faster. Um, the six character. Oh, here it goes. I think it might pair me to it if I put this code in. Yeah, it'll pair your two together somehow. But you really want to bring up Zoom on your computer. That's what I'm trying to do here. See? Yeah. So so now. Just so you know, I have, and you can hear it echoing, because I have it up on my other computer. Oh. All right. So I don't have a cam or anything, so I'm going to 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 leave the meeting with this. Okay. This is just yeah. So it should work. Say that oh, yeah. runs it. Yeah. Still downloading. It's a pair. 
it downloaded. Now it wants me. It I said launch it. So when it, it after I launched it, it took me to this, and either I can sign in. And I don't know why it won't let me sign in, and or I can enter a pairing code. Why don't you do this? Uh, go to your browser and repaste that thing in. Let me try. Where is it? Um, I think oh, this. You're just repasting the. Uh, oh, the thing. The the URL that was on that page. And did this again. Yeah, what's it say? Um, it just did the same. You know what? I don't know. It just. Um, it, it did the same thing. Oh, uh, you'll need a new app to open this Zoom link. Say okay. Okay, I said okay, and it went and back, it to, the, back to that. But you know what it says? If you have Zoom client installed, launch meeting. Yeah, go otherwise, ahead. download and run Zoom. Oh, I didn't have to download that app. It it did the real Zoom from the the web page. Okay, so now does it say you need an update or no? Um, I'm not sure. It's still, in, it's, it's still installing it. Yes, yeah, still installing it. Is Dara coming in today? No, I don't think so. Oh. Well, if you want to get on with the lesson or. You froze up. You want to just you want to try to get this down. So. Oh, I need. We need to get this down. We 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 need to do some some stuff here. Make sure we we know what's going on. So while that's installing, let me ask you this. Okay. You been to Pro Tools first? I've been on the site, but I haven't I haven't downloaded it. But I've been on the site plenty of times. Okay. You want me to download that now too? I want I want you to get that up and running because w w without that, then I'm just Class blabbing away. Pointless. You know what I'm saying? I'm just blabbing away, and without you being able to do some of these things, it's not going to help you very much. Right. So so my goal today, since you said you had a computer, is to try to get that all set up and see if the Pro Tools will work. Okay. I um this is okay, I searched in Pro Tools first and I'm just one is um Pro Tools dash first. Oh. Oh what? This popped up. I think it's gonna let me Oh well, so ah, it's working. Come on. Join Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you, you, yeah, so, so, let's see. Um, I can probably computer. Um, do me, do, uh, here it goes. By the way, if we just disappear, well, I'll just come back. We won't disappear because I run out of time because I upgraded, but I might just click the wrong button or something like that, or the internet goes out. Um, and I would text you again, just so you know. Um, let's see. Um, do you see at the bottom, does it say screen share? It does, but it says it's you disabled it. What? It says you disabled participant screen sharing. All right. Uh, um. Okay, it shouldn't be like that anymore. Let's see. Oh, cool. So, so click on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my, yeah, there we go. Remy Colton is sharing a screen. All right, good. And and do you still have up on the side a picture of you and a picture of me? Yep. Cool, all right. So 
So did you sign up for a Avid account? Oh, no, I, no. I was trying to see which link it was, so I went down with the wrong link. All right. Well, see where it says, the very top, it says, free software, Pro Tools, first download. Click on that, and then it's going to ask you about your account. Create an account. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some advice here. Yes. I would use your academic account. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, also, I can ask. Get and one of the reasons is if you, if you, well, you know what? Just use the, use your regular one. Don't, don't use the MVSU. Um, Cause if you buy pro tools, you're going to just have to prove you're a student and you get it for a lot less. For instance, I'm not a robot. Let's hit submit and see what happens. What's an eye lock? I guess I Okay, hang on a second. You need to create the account, but you're going to do it and see it online. I don't think you need the actual iLock. You've seen the iLock. We have them plugged into all of the machines. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. So hit create because you don't have an iLock account. So make sure you're writing these, these passwords down or whatever. Hit create. Okay. It's going to go through your master account. Yeah, password. Okay. That's interesting. All right. So answer some questions there. We use Pro Tools. I've used Pro Tools. That's it. Just say other. Just say other. We want to make sure they think you're first. Yeah. Unclick Pro Tools. And Audacity. All right. And... Uh, uh, mixing? Yeah, if it says mixing. Yeah, go ahead. And then I'm currently a student. Currently a student. I guess I have to click email my download links. Right. So it's going to email it to your uh, uh, Bremi Lie. Oh, other. What should I put for other? Audacity? Uh, is that what you've been using? I mean, I've used it in high school. Go ahead, just type it. Audacity is a good audio editor, okay? Um, but I don't think they're as relevant as they used to be. Probably not. All right, so check your email. Look at all that stuff you got up on your computer. I know. This is from, I have to exit out of it. It's from LSAT and then Flipgrid. I don't know what Flipgrid is. It's what we're using with Dr. Um, Garlot to do our voice lessons. Okay. On Windows, I'm assuming. Yeah. So open or save? Uh, I, I would start by just open. Oh, I, I would I would save it. Click on that upper up button. All right, just hit save. Just hit save. Oh. Yeah. oh. So so make 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 sure you know where it's at. So I'd put it on your desktop if you don't have too many things. Oh, oh, don't worry about it. I don't know where you put it, just so you know. I think it's going to be under my downloads. Okay. All right. That's good. Wait, let me just... but one of the things you want to do is after you installed it all, you want to throw that out, that zip thing out. Throw the zip out? When you're all done installing and everything works, make sure you throw it away because it takes up 2.76 gigabytes. 
So this is going to be quite a long time here. Well, no, you, you seem to have a pretty fast connection. Yeah, I don't know. That's yes, good. Sir. That's really good. That's a way faster connection than I have. Okay, cool. I can actually have some of this. Um, hang on. Um, so you might want to check out the Avid link. Um, it says here, check out Avid on the bottom. Yeah, you're you're going. Is there a link there? Um. Okay, wait up up there. It says your Avid account uh, right up above it. So you got resources to get started, tutorials, tips and support. Your Avid account. Don't don't exit this page. All right, so you might want to take a look at them at least briefly and maybe bookmark them. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, let's see, you're 67%. You're doing really good. So I'm going to unshare your screen and I'm going to reshare my screen. Okay? Okay. All right, so just while we're talking here, I'm going back to this and I'm going to to the modules. At least I hope I am. Did you look over this introduction to EQ? Yeah, I looked over that. Wait, is that new? Oh, this was the one that I, I put up on Monday. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not sure, I don't know. Well, that's not the old EQ videos? No, that's not the videos from last semester. I told you on Monday you were supposed to read this this part of the book through EQ. Oh, chapter 14, signal processing. Yeah. You're supposed to read that and then look at this video right here. All right. It's relatively short video. Well, it's 10 minutes long. It's just exploring EQ Pro Tools equalizer. Most equalizers sound a whole lot different from one another, even. And it talks about certain things. Right. Okay. So if you have have you looked at this one? I didn't look at it. Okay. Can't hear you very well all of a sudden. I didn't look at it. <laughs> okay. Um that's all right. I want you to look at it, all right? And then and I don't want to overwhelm you. You're not I just did you I ever get a good know. pair of headphones? No, I um. That's the thing you're gonna need right now, because <laughs> you're, you're gonna need a good pair of headphones to. You, within this right here, this stuff that these people are playing and making demonstrations of, more so in this video right here, understanding EQ. Okay. Really requires either a good set of speakers or a good set of headphones. Now I have a speaker in here, but it's by Newmark. I don't know that what that means. Is it just one speaker? Yeah. If you need it's, two. It's from DJing. It's literally one speaker. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's, like, that's a nice speaker. You know, my little computer over here, I got just two little teeny speakers. On my other computer over here, I got, I got a much smaller speaker, set of speakers, but they're actual real speakers. These are the cheap things that come with computers you know, in the old days. But what you really need to do is get a decent pair of headphones. Okay. So let me show you again. Can I just go in the store and find some or just what try store to get are you those? talking about? Like, um, probably not Best Buy because everything in there is it's nothing oh, really in there. No. But like Guitar Center. Guitar, you, 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 uh, do you have a Guitar Center near you? I do. I believe it's open still. Hang on. So I'm 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 gonna go to Guitar Center and uh, share the page. First one's an ad. I never do that. I have a question too. Question away. 
Okay, so I'm I'm probably won't be able to print like right now. So I tried to find like these PDF apps to let me annotate like a PDF. Yeah. So I have to go get a stylus today. But if I do it like that, if I can't do it like that, can I just like write it out for like our theory class? Yeah, but well, you really need to get some paper. Oh, I have some paper. I found some in my old stuff. Yeah, from all those course packets I gave out, there's paper. You could write it out and do it on paper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can get it printed uh, out so the other paper at a later time. Uh, though. What about are we are we talking about music theory? Yeah, the um, writing the uh the seventh chords. Okay. Because we're moving to the. Um, Um, I'm I'm sorry, I'm typing. It's okay. We're 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 moving to the book today. Okay. So. Oh, I have. Oh, all right. The book. We, which means we're going to be using the workbook from this point forward, to some degree. Okay. All right, I'm going to share a page with you. So I'm stopping this share, and I'm going to share this page. Right here, share. All right, so don't buy that. You could buy this pair of headphones. This is, I, uh, I went to the headphone place that says Studio Headphones. All right, so I want you to write this, write this down when you go to the store. Is you're looking for a pair of headphones? Okay. That is closed back. Closed back. Yeah, see how it says right here, closed back. Okay. And it has a flat response. Okay. All right, so you could probably get this one right here, for instance. $69. Those are the same pairs of headphones that we have in the studio. I personally don't like those, but that's okay. Um, um don't, don't don't go for any of these these really cheap, cheap ones yeah uh the audio techniques is probably okay um there 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 was there is a one that folds i showed you one that folded before but if you're just going down to the store talk to them Tell them you 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 should probably write this down like a A K K J. This one right here, K two forty studio headphones. Yep. That's an example. Ask them what they got and close back that are similar to those right there. Okay. Which they should have. This is Guitar Center website. Okay, so you you really need to kind of get something like that. And that's all you really need right now, okay? okay? A computer, a program, and a pair of headphones, you know? Okay. So how much RAM does your computer have? It has, this one has eight gigabytes of RAM. Good. And that's it's an i5 processor, Intel 5, Core 5. That's probably all good enough. And it's a Windows machine, right? Yep. Who's the manufacturer? HP. Okay. All right. If you got it, I only have eight gigabytes on this machine. Um, you go any further, you start going to the full blown version, you need to upgrade your RAM if you can. How do you do that? With hard drives? No. You got to figure out if your RAM is upgradable, number one. And so then they open it up and they take two chips out and put two more chips in or something like that. Oh. Okay. So, so, but, but at the moment we shouldn't have, we should not be having a problem with pro tools first. Okay. Okay. But they, they went to recommending that you had 16 gigs of Ram um, a year or so ago. So the latest versions 
supposedly require a little bit more RAM. I don't have the latest version and I'm running the full blown version. Oh, okay. All right. So you need to go out and get one of these. All right. So okay. I'll do a, do a new share now. and I'm going to go back to where I was. Let's see. Boom. All right. I need to get rid of this. All right. So now you should be seeing the back to the introduction to EQ basics, right? Yep. All right. So, so this vi this video is by the same person as this video. In the very beginning, he says, "Talk." He says you should probably go back and look at my spectral management video. So, so this is about seven or eight minutes, and this is about fifteen minutes. Let's see. And this is good information, all right? This one, you probably can just watch, take some in information, you know, things like that. Some okay. of it you already know, all right? But the next one, understanding EQ, this one you should take notes on. Let me give you an example. So, so here's, here's my sheet of paper here. I'm going to stop this video right here. Uh, this is one side. This is the other side. I mean, I took two pages of notes, but I take probably more specific notes than you do. All right. Okay. But there are some things that he puts up on the screen that you might want to copy down uh, as major points. But he, he makes. He's not, he's not showing you exactly how to EQ things, but he's giving you the, he's trying to give you the foundation, which is something you, you might already have from last semester uh, a little bit. Um, and, and this will help, all right? Okay. But, but in the end, he says, the, the, you, you got to just keep doing it and doing it and doing it in order to start hearing the things they're talking about. You know, and you. And, yeah. And he makes, he, he talks about the difference between additive EQ and subtractive EQ. So in a nutshell, additive is when you boost something. Subtractive. You know what? I might know what he's talking about because when I used to DJ, I used to mess with the highs and the lows of the EQ. Yeah. So it's additive when it starts sounding like, uh, no, no, it's additive. No, it's subtractive when it starts sounding like screechy, like it starts sounding like more forward. Okay. No, not exactly, but but he talks about that stuff too and what to do. Oh. If it starts being oh. screechy or something like that, you might want to cut it. That's subtracting. Not like screechy, but you know it sounds like more forward, with like less stuff behind it, and then additive, it sounds like more like bassier. Oh, no. Um... I forgot what I did. I used to twist let me, a knob. Let me let me uh, share another screen. Um, With my controller, like it was in the, in the mixer in the middle, and I used to. All right. Do you have? Do you see the E cube right here? Yep. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this. Uh, factory default. Okay. Um. So, if I was doing additive, I would be boosting everything from the center, yep. okay? So that means I'm boosting these frequencies. Of course, I can use the Q to um, um, I mean, yeah, that is the right one. To, to make, make it what I'm trying to boost, but that's boosting. And so the other case is for subtractive which is subtracting something out of there. Okay. It's like two thoughts of how to do things. There's pros and cons to each one. But, but the fact is, is you should be doing maybe a combination of these things. All right. Maybe not. All right. So you need to really listen to that video and listen to it with a decent pair of headphones because that will. Yeah. All right. 
I'm not saying that everything that, that on these videos you can hear really well because you can't without being trained. Okay. So the more you the more you listen to these things and the more you try to hear these subtle things they're talking about. Okay. The more you hear them. Um, you understand what I mean by that? Yep. All no, right. Actually, so this is what we're gonna do for this class. We're gonna watch these three videos. Maybe take some notes. Some um, not major notes like me, but take some notes to to remind you. Basically, I'm just trying to be reminded of what the video is. Um, and uh, get a pair okay. of headphones. All right. So where do you stand on your Pro Tools download? You said, "Oh, I need a pair of headphones right now." Well, you're gonna need a pair of headphones to look at this stuff or to listen to this stuff is my real point. Oh, it's finished downloading. Okay. Remember the videos? Do you take your phone off? Did I take my phone off? Yeah. Uh, no, no, don't don't worry about it. Yeah, it's only the two of us here. All right. Um, those um, videos that I was showing you, I, I was telling you, you need to listen to those. I mean, he's, he's going to tell you that I'm assuming you have either a good pair of speakers or a good pair of headphones. So otherwise you can't hear the subtle differences. Oh, yeah. With that speaker, you can't hear the stereo mix. Oh. And, and all of those things. So that's why you need a pair of headphones. Okay. Okay, so that's the other thing you need. Um, I don't, okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just don't know. It's doing this for. Hey, share your screen. Oh, it stopped sharing it? Well, yeah, once I took over the screen, I don't see your screen anymore. Yeah, so we're back here and just share your screen. All right. Um, it's the Pro Tools first, and it's doing this. Yep. Licenses set up. That's probably the application right there. It's a set up application. All right. Double click on that. I double clicked. Okay. I don't know. Well, did you you pressed install, right? Oh. Say okay. I pressed install, or maybe it, what it downloaded, or was that that's not the same? Yeah, that's not the same. That's part of the reason why I just it says fifty five percent. See it on the right side. Yep. So it just didn't work. Well, no, hang on. Now, usually in Windows, you you got some place on the bottom somewhere where you or where you can click on it. And 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 right right click on it and say continue download. Oh, it just said, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device setup? Hello. I'm here. Say yes. 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 I'm just wondering what this fifty five percent is. So now it's installed. Now it's working on installing it, right? Yep. Can you see this? No, I only see the screen that you shared with me. Share your desktop. So hit share screen again and look for the one that says desktop. Okay. Yeah, again? now I see your desktop. All right. Uh, it says, oh, it requires the following items to be installed on your computers. Please install before you begin. All right. So you need to, you need to install the PACE license support, the Avid Cloud Client, and the Avid Link. So go back to this other folder behind it that says Documentation. Just double click on that. Let's see what's in it. All right, go back one, go back. Yep. Hit licenses. I'm just curious. I don't know what they are. Uh, 
That's a PDF file. I'll go back one link. You could you know, you could also do it right in this top bar right there. Uh, go to go to Avid. Go to Avid. Click click on Avid. Yeah. I'm just curious to see what's there. All right, they're just licenses. All right. So go back up, uh, back up again. Yeah, you can do it like that. All right, go back into documentation. All right, you can go to, uh, why don't you, uh, what, open, uh, do the readme, open this readme first. Um, hit cancel. I don't really know what that is. All right, I'm not. Windows completed the extraction. The, de the destination file could not be created. Cannot complete. So say okay. All right. So I'm really not sure what happened. Okay. Um. So is it in your downloads folder? Yeah, click on that Pro Tools window. Um, right click on that. Like, would oh. that be Control or Shift? -click? Oh, it's just right click on the mouse. So you could say Extract All. Did you try that? Did you do that before? No. Go ahead and say Extract All just for fun. All right, now let's not put it there. Let's, uh, let's, let's select a folder. Let's see. Uh, so browse? Browse. Um, you have it. Uh, Made a folder? An applications folder or something like that. No, I, I haven't set anything up. I just got this like last weekend. And hit cancel and just hit cancel on that. Just go ahead and extract it there. Did you ever see this window before? No. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm really not completely sure. But what, what you need to do is go back to Avid. And go and 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 figure out. You're gonna have to go to um, the iLock place, which is Pace license uh, support. You're gonna need to download an Avid client or something like that. Okay. So install. No, no, it's wait. It, it's waiting for this stuff. See, it says Pro Tools first requires the following stuff. All right. Oh. Uh, you're already in, yeah, you're already installing this. Um, oh, okay. And I'm just not sure if it's already been installed because you might have said installed, but then it said it couldn't extract. Remember? Right. So yeah. what I need you to do is I need you to figure out and you go back to Avid and you can look in their help section or read the readmes. Um, and, and things like that, and to figure out how to set up this account right, so it works. Okay. So you got you got some work to do. So let's just say, I think the main thing you should do is try to get a pair of headphones, and set and, and get Pro Tools at least so it's functioning on your desk, on your computer. Okay. Once we get that, then we'll come up with some files. Um. You have a Dropbox account? Um, I don't think so. You Make know what one. Dropbox is? Yeah, like you can put photos in there. Yeah, you can also put great big giant audio files. Okay, so make one. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, it's a free account. I would get Dropbox. That's what Jimmy always used. Um. um and you can sh so you can upload something and then share it with me, for instance, or I can upload something and share it with you. Okay. Okay, and uh, really, all I need to do is 
put in your email. Okay. Let's see. Dropbox. All right, I gotta go because I got these other things I gotta do. Dropbox, uh, si yeah, Dropbox, that's it right there. Click, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll make one. And, and then sign up for a free, I don't know why it says free. Don't, this is Dropbox for business. Don't do Dropbox for business. You want regular old Dropbox. Um, home, yeah, it does say home there, let's see. That. Yeah, that looks like it is. And so create an account. Above sign in with Google, it says create an account. Yeah. All right. I'm going to end this. Okay. Video, okay. Okay. I'll see you Friday, right? No, you'll see me later for theory. Well, yeah, but I'll see you Friday for this class, right? Yep. All right. Talk to you later. Stay safe. All right. You too. Thank you. I don't know how to get out of here.